officially made it to Walt Disney Studios finally by noon by or by 11:30 but we have to get to a reservation at now um, so we're gonna head right there but I'll take you around on the little tour while we're walking back to that area all right so you walk into Walt Disney Studios and they have like a lot of stuff inside so there's stores oh my god is that like an actual no it's not like a sit-down brown derby but it's quick service Remy's. A me and Chris have been really wanting to come to this place, so we're excited. He got the steak. We got me and Chris got the um so a bunch of different menu types you can get. We got the a meal menu, right? Yeah. We're starting a main course of dessert, so we started with the salad because we really wanted to try the desserts, but we all got the cod. Which looks really good and Chris got the steak which comes with fries and the bread is outstanding It tastes like the bread and the French for filling it up caught so I know that it's real We'll let you know how it is going on the studio tram tour for the first time Le scénario décrivait une ville féerique située au bord d'une somptueuse cascade. La voilà. Oui, la voilà. Ceci n'est que la partie du décor dont on a eu besoin pour filmer les acteurs. Et tout le côté spectaculaire a été ensuite ajouté par des artistes en la matière avec des ordinateurs. They only build what they need for the actors, but to make this mythical city even more spectacular, the filmmakers brought in visual effects artists armed only with imagination. So it was from being sitting in grand arm inside a trunk.
Yeah. Catastrophe Canyon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of remember that name. That was cool. The beauty of a backlog is that you can turn a corner and be anywhere. London, for example. But London, as you've never seen it before, scorched by dragons. On a préféré utiliser un studio plutôt qu'endommager tout un quartier de Londres par les flammes que lancent de vrais dragons. Et puis les dragons peuvent être des créatures si capricieuses. to the new Marvel area. Is this where their Marvel land's gonna be? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I need a picture in front of the Iron Man statue. Stitch live. Wait, we need to go see Stitch. Is this it? No, I wanna see... I want to see the Stark Expo. Votre attention, s'il vous plaît. Je suis Friday, assistante virtuelle de Monsieur Stark et votre hôte pour l'événement d'aujourd'hui. Dans quelques instants, Tony Stark va vous présenter, ici à la Stark Expo, sa dernière contribution pour un avenir meilleur. Cet événement va également être retransmis en live à travers l'Europe par Stark TV. Alors n'oubliez pas de sourire. Nous prendrons l'antenne dans 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mais je suis passé à côté d'une 
boulangerie et j'ai vu cette cheesecake au caramel. J'ai pas pu résister. Vous avez déjà goûté le cheesecake au caramel Oh là là, c'est tellement bon. Super. J'en étais sûr. Spider Sense. Tu es tellement perspicace. Je te ouais. ramène à Asgard. C'est une offre intéressante. Mais j'ai d'autres plans en tête. music is playing. Great song. to see lights motors action also the uh, Avengers show was really cool so you should go see it if you're here it's nice to see this again
believe that they closed that. I made it to their very tiny Toy Story Playland. Very small. They have this and RC Racer, which is like a half pipe behind this. But this is the Green Army Men parachute drop we're about to do, which looks pretty cool. We should have something like this. Disney doesn't have any drops. Florida. He's here. Come in, Mickey. Oh, that's a fun outfit. <laughs> Welcome to my workshop, Mickey. Come to the Voice Américain, beaucoup de ballet. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Mickey and, Mag Mickey and the Magician. It's Mickey and the Magical Map in California. I'm getting it confused. Because my brother said that they're like sister shows, but it was amazing. So if you ever come, definitely don't skip it. We made it to the last show, and it was awesome. And Chris said it was might have been his favorite Disney stage show, and he doesn't really like stage shows. Yeah. So it was really good. So definitely go and watch it. Some of the effects, I couldn't even figure out how they worked. You know, some of the yeah. stuff that they did. No, I mean, what's my favorite stage show in the U.S. was um, Festival of the Lion King. Oh, yeah. But, but that Lion King segment, those singers were outstanding. Yeah, no, this is really Yeah, cool. it was awesome. So definitely go check it out. But we're going to go check Ratatouille one more time because we had got a Fast Pass when we got here. But it's, of course, right when we went for our Fast Pass, there was technical difficulties. So I'm hoping it's back open because that's the only thing that we really wanted to do. So let's go see. All right, we're at it. One of the rarities that get to try it before it opens in Epcot. Yeah, there's no track. It's
live up to the hype. Yeah. Epcot, Epcot's fans get excited. It's, it's good. Did it make you sick? No. No, it wasn't that bad. That was awesome. And you exit out, the restaurant's right here. And the track list was cool. I couldn't record it, obviously, because it's 3D. Well, I but. still think the difference was is there was still some physical sets in that rather than straight. Yeah, no, I think it, it's like the Spider-Man ride at Universal. They did a good job, though. That one makes me more sick, though. It's awesome. All right, one last walk to close the vlog out. How should we close the vlog out? I'd like to ride Phantom Manor again. Well, we can't. We don't have time. All right. So reviews on Disneyland Paris. Overall, I like this castle park better than the Magic Kingdom still, but not as much as Disneyland. Studios is doing good. They have some work to do, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't good awful. shows. It was nice to do the tram tour and lights motors action and I'm excited for their new stuff coming. But overall, it's a good experience. I'm glad that they didn't end up closing this park overall. Um, because it definitely is the best castle experience. So thanks for staying tuned. Hopefully I got some good content on here. It's hard when I don't have very good guest stars because it's trying to stink. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He just doesn't talk. But you were the one that was sick all day. Well, I know. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in my next episode in Florida, probably. So, see you there. <laughs>